All right, guys. I just got picked up by my friend Logan here. What up? We're gonna be uh, going to the NARBC Tinley show this weekend. So, yeah, you can tell I'm very tired. Only on a couple hours of sleep. Logan just came from a long. Car How long was your car ride? Right? Like six hours. Six hours. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Your plan was like four or five. Four, four. Yeah, four and a half. But then it was delayed. So yeah, I mean, had 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 him waiting on me. But all right, guys. We'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Right, guys we're here with mega conda we got the t positive brianna conda right here i don't know i think there's only a few of them right here but this big man has one too things are sick dude All right, guys, I'm here with Justin Kabelka at the Tinley Park Reptile Show. So, uh, you said you watch my YouTube channel? I do, every <laughs> night. I just have to sleep with it. That's not good. That's not a good No, you're all right, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to highlight one animal that you, you're proud of this year that you made, or, or no, sure. last year, right? Oh, I love this year, actually. Gotcha. Yeah. So, is there anything like you want to highlight? Sure, I mean, we can tell you, look at some of these crazy ones we just made. We have some. Uh, We've got some really amazing DG clown pies. The DG clown pies? And then the new Cypress stuff is like huge right now. We're really excited about it. Got you. I was yeah. looking at how orange this uh, super inchy. Uh, yes. Yeah, Black and Dream, yeah. So are you, are you thinking about adding uh, like yellow belly to that? Or? Yeah, we want to and OD and OD and all that. Still right? do, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, Justin. So where can we follow you? KenovaReptiles.com. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Awesome. Thanks.
Just want to introduce yourself and tell me what you specialize in. What's up, guys? My name is Jerome. I'm from No Limit Royals. Uh, my main specialty that I focus on right now is a sapphire jean. Sapphire? Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't even know there was a sapphire here. Yeah, sapphire, uh, it's, it's been around for a while. Uh, the original owner shelved it. A few people brought it back, so it's spreading out a little bit more and more. Uh, I should have some sapphire clowns here in about 60 to 90 days. Those should be the first sapphire clowns ever made. So we'll see what it does in that realm. Uh, Sapphire DG's coming out, so we'll, we'll see what's going on with that too. And then what do you have right here? This right here is a beautiful uh, female stranger clown. Wow, it's beautiful, dude. All right, so where can we find you again? Uh, no Limit Royals, uh, underscore in between each, each name on uh, Instagram. Best All right, way. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, guys, we're down here at the Tinley Park Reptile Show. Uh, you want to introduce yourself and tell me what you yeah, got here? Uh, my name's Mike. I'm one of the owners of Crosstown Exotics. We do uh, traveling reptile and bug shows for schools, birthday parties, library scout troops, uh, you know, Chicagoland area here. And uh, this is Drax. He's our Cayman lizard. He's going on about seven years old now. So he's about almost full grown. He's about um, yeah, he'll get, he'll get a little bit bigger. Yeah. I've seen, and I've, I've seen some that are like much larger. And their tails definitely get a little bit longer than yeah, the Yeah, he's a uh, yeah. pretty big animal here. But yeah, just a unique lizard. Their back looks just like a uh, caiman or a crocodile's back. If he wasn't in shed, his head would be bright red. And are they in a tegu family? Yes, yeah, they're like a like they're a like water, water yes. tegu, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, very similar. Like, what's it, Dracaena? Or uh, I'm trying to look at. I can't. I always forget that. Yeah, the, just, yeah. I, can't, I can't see that. <laughs> uh, I always forget the the genus on it. Yeah. So how's the temperament on these guys? Um, I. I hold them. I've seen a lot yeah. of people that will let them crawl on you, but in a setting like where we're at, yeah. I wouldn't want someone to like scare him on accident. Yeah, you're very darty and all that. And you know, 90% of the time he's cool. Every once in a while he'll get huffy, maybe open his mouth or something. But uh, feeding time, he's got a strong feeding response. They get excited. And I will say out of just about everything we have, these guys were like the biggest pain in the butt yeah. for feeding because uh, most of their diet in nature is snails. Got, yeah. yeah. So when he was little, uh, with mostly snails, but I started mixing it with like the Missouri crock chow, uh, offering fish and stuff. And now he eats the uh, uh, primary uh, part of his diet is snails still, but he'll eat smelt fish, he'll eat crock chow. I feel the, the back of his body. Yeah, I could throw the Missouri crock chow in the water and he'll come up like a turtle and start chowing on it. Um, I'm trying to think, I've given him like a squid, cuttlefish. Uh, he'll eat a, I'll give him a rodent here and there. I'll do like chicks or something too. Yeah, he's an impressive animal. Yeah. Okay, so where can we follow you? Uh, in, across Town Exotics on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we have a couple YouTube videos, not a lot, but uh, and then we have a TikTok as well. And it'll just be under Cross Town Exotics. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. All right, you just want to introduce yourself and tell me what you got going on here? Hi there, so my name's Adelaide Robinson and I'm currently painting my USARC auction donations right now. So we got um, some Air Jordans here. They're all white, so starting from scratch, blank canvas, and I'm painting some creatures on them. Definitely. So they'll be ready at the end of the evening for uh, the USARC auction. I'm pretty excited about it. All right, and where can we find you? AdelineRobinsonArt.com. Uh, all my social media links are there. I do a lot of reels and a lot of time lapse videos of my artwork, so you can see it on, all on there. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. I told you most of you dark blonde. Oh my goodness. This is nice.
point, introduce yourself and tell me what you specialize in. Yeah, I am Troy with Best Dressed Balls. Um, I obviously do ball pythons, and my favorite is probably anything pied related. Uh, that's always kind of been a special thing in my heart. Gotcha. And then is there one animal you want to highlight on your table today? Ooh, um, I would say the Monarch Pied. The Monarch Pied? Uh, even though it is sold. Gotcha. Uh, but I could pop it out. Yeah. If, uh, if you'd like, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Monarch Pied by my smoothie. Uh, oh, you just want to play. Yep. So, pastel Monarch Pied. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it's got a new owner, so it's, it's going home with somebody else this weekend. Gotcha. And then where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram at Best Dress Balls. You can find me on Facebook at the same uh, Morph Market and uh, Late to the Mic. All right. Appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you. All right, you just want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Will Nance. I'm a YouTuber slash I own a nonprofit animal rescue conservation center. Um, I started on YouTube and kind of blew up from there. All right, and you're working at the Vision uh, booth today, right? Yes, so Vision, Vision had me come out here uh, to meet people and also promote their products because um, I've been promoting Vision long before I was sponsored by them, um, and that's kind of why they picked me up to sponsor me is because I always talked amazingly about their cages because I keep nothing but venomous, and I keep them in these cages. Yes, yeah, so, so you would recommend them for venomous things, For right? venomous, for non-venomous, for so many different yeah. things. I mean, I keep their dragons in them, ball pythons in them, lots I mean, they're, of different they're the best, I think they're the best cages out there, honestly. Yeah, they, they, they really are. I mean, yes, they are a bit pricey. People complain yeah, but about that, worth but it. it's worth it. You can drop this off a truck and yeah. nothing's happening to it. Try that with a PVC cage. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so where can we find uh, Vision? Uh, Vision, you got Vision page, uh, Vision products online yeah. um, is their website. They also have customcages.com and customaquariums.com as well. So they're all kind of together. Um, their aquariums are great. They have an amphibious tank for, for amphibians and stuff like that, which are incredible. I have one of those as well. Um, but yeah, you find them on Instagram. Uh, they do, I think, have some stuff on YouTube, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. But I'm not sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they definitely have Instagram, Facebook, the normal stuff like and that. And then how about yourself? How about Myself, you? YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Just Under Will Nace. Nace. Yeah. Gotcha. I appreciate it, brother. No problem. There you go. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> It has nice yellow too on this Linda too. Like that. Okay, let's get All right, guys, we're at the Reach Out Reptile booth down here at the NARBC show in Tilly. Uh, we're with the world's famous Joel, Joel Hull. <laughs> Joe, Joe, G.I. Joe. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, All right, so G.I. Joe, you just want to introduce yourself and tell me what you got here? Hey, what's going on, guys? So I'm Joe Hull. I've been working at Reach Out Reptiles now for a couple years, full time since I got out of the Army. Uh, so Garrett's coined the term, you know, G.I. Joe is what pretty much everybody knows me as. And we got a ton of super dwarf and dwarf retics. You know, this is what we do. Um, this is exclusively what we do. And we're the only ones that do super dwarf and dwarf retics exclusively. So, not saying we're the best at it, but we're probably <laughs> pretty good. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So, so what do we got uh, here? So this is one of the favorite, one of my favorites I hatched this year, right? This is a joint breeding that happened between Garrett and I. Uh, it was my my SD Sunfire Mochino uh, to his uh, what we everybody knows is the Zombie Snow or Olaf, right? The okay. Snow the Snow Golden Child. Gotcha. So this guy is a uh, Golden Child Mochino that's a hundred percent head annery. He's a dwarf, but I mean I'm telling you from the time he's a baby to now the color change he's going through like how bold and that head is those big silver eyes it's just a great contrast into the way that that bruising kind of color comes in on a golden child mochino it's amazing i love it and it's actually one of my favorites the only one that really beat it for me was the actual we because we went mochino to mochino yeah uh we isolated mocha out we got three mochas we got a gc sunfire mocha male that ended up being my whole back uh garrett got a G, uh, mocha sunfire male head annery that was his whole back and then we had a one female golden child mocha 
that went to an awesome customer of ours that's going to do amazing things with it in the future. So, but this is the only uh, son or the only golden child mochino male in the whole clutch. And I think he just came out phenomenal. Everybody loves the golden child, right? Definitely. They love that. I agree. They love that iridescence. They love that head stamp. And I mean, he's just got it big and bold. But that, what really sets it off, I think, is the contrast of those very silver eyes, man. Oh yeah. Yep. And so uh, the color is just amazing. It's that deep pumpkiny color, but that contrast from the silver into that darkness, I think it's amazing. You know. Yep. So Joe, so where can we find Reach Out Reptiles? So you definitely got us on Patreon, you got us on Instagram at Reach Out Reptiles, you got us on Facebook for Reach Out Reptiles, you can get a hold of me at info at reachoutreptiles.com, uh, we got our website, Reach you have Out your Reptiles. Own um, I've got I do I've got an Instagram I'm not great at it guys yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody knows that but it's GI underscore Joe's underscore or GI underscore Joe underscore SDS SD so yeah. that one's uh, that's me for you know Instagram when I do post to it and then you guys have got me as Joe Hall on Facebook so um, but anytime you guys need anything reach out man I'm happy to always talk snakes yep I appreciate it man oh yeah bro anytime yep <laughs> It choke you out. Perfect. <laughs> That's a perfect size to be taking. You just want to introduce yourself and tell me what you specialize in? Hi, I'm Maddie Smith, and my partner is Tyler Ruggie. He's not here right now. And we are Celestial Exotics, and we work primarily with Crested Geckos. Crested Geckos. And is there a certain uh, morph within the Crested Geckos that you work with? Um, I'd say primarily like tricolors tri are our focus. Yeah. Okay. So where can we find you? Uh, Celestial Exotics on Facebook, Instagram, and CelestialExotics.net. All right. Appreciate you so much. Yeah. Yeah, you see the time running, right? Yes. Well, make sure. This is an important interview. It is running. All right, guys. We're down here with Mike's Monitors at the NRABC show in Timmy Park. And um, th today's interview is going to be a little bit different other than monitors. Well, it is going to be we're all going to allow monitors. But how is it being in a wheelchair and taking care of these monitors and big lizards? Well, I, I so I don't actually need the wheelchair. Yeah. It helps in a place like this. Oh, so at, at, at home, I'm able to do my work and everything. Yeah. It's painful and all, but... To come here with the chair is, you know, there's a. Yeah. I feel for you because there's a lot of stinky people. And not no one in particular, but you get stuck behind a crowd. It ain't pleasant all the time. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Definitely. And I give you big props for doing this, man. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're a strong. No, well, strong I, man. I, I, you motivate me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, you know. You have all those monitors that you have to take care of. Yep. No matter if you're not in the wheelchair or not, you still. Oh, you, you gotta do it. do it. You gotta do it, right? You gotta do it. But yeah. So, where can we find you, Mike? You can find me at uh, mikesmonitors.com, Mike's Monitors on Instagram, uh, Michael Stefani on Facebook. I do have a Mike's Monitors uh, Facebook. I rarely go and check it, so check me out the other places and Mike's Monitors at YouTube. You know what? Let me ask you, what species of monitors do you actually breed and uh, that you have available right now? Well, I have uh, Moranis Coming Eye, probably the best in the country, pure oh, yeah. mid and out. I agree, yeah, 100%. Uh, uh, my banded Java Sulfurs are probably the best in the country. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mertens? Mertens, I do breed Mertens. I've produced over 250 Mertens. I'm working with Similis, and I've been working with Similis for 30 years. I haven't cracked that code yet, but I'm going to keep working at it. And I just produced the world's first Varanus togianus. I have three eggs in the incubator, and that's a project that goes back 30 years, and it all started from one picture of an unknown monitor that now has been named Varanus togianus from the Togian Islands. Yeah, and I have three eggs in the incubator, and it, Supposed to hatch in June. Alright, so I appreciate it so much, Mike. Oh, yeah, much love, Benny. Thank much you. love. Alright, guys, we're here with Jake. 
Squats? Squats? Squats. 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 Big bad Jake. Yeah. From JK Reptiles. Uh, if you want to introduce yourself and tell me what you specialize in. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm Jake Clapps from JK Reptiles. I'm local here. I'm about uh, 30 minutes from Tinley. So I do all mainland retex. Mainland all retex. different combos. That's all I do is mainland stuff. No dwarfs, no And are you still working on locality stuff? I, so I do, I do Sula. Sula's the only locality I work with. Um, we're trying to get some pures, but it's, it's pretty hard. I so. know. How is that going? It's, I got one female, my other female got egg bound and died a few years ago. Yeah, I heard So, that. yeah, so I got one more female we're trying. And um, is Sula, are Sula's a little bit more difficult than other localities? Stuff? They seem to be very hard to breed yeah. for whatever reason. I've talked to a few guys that have done it, and uh, there's some tricks I've heard, so we're going to try with this other female, see if we can get it done. But, yeah, they're awesome. They're, the Sula's are cool. All right, you just want to highlight one animal on your table? Um, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this guy. This is uh, an orange glow sunfire anthrax. So he was produced about a year and a half ago. Okay. Um, this is the first orange glow oh, anthrax. Oh, you know what? I remember when you produced this. Yeah, he was a lot smaller when I brought him. Yeah. Uh, but he's he's awesome. He's he's definitely probably the coolest snake I've ever made. And do you have any future projects that you're looking forward to? Um, I'm doing. I'm gonna try to do some purple hypo stuff, which I think is gonna be really neat. Okay. Um, I'm really focusing a lot on the, the hypo stuff and the anthrax stuff. We're shooting yeah, for... Yeah, you're, you're badass at the anthrax stuff. We're trying to do... Me and Aubrey did a, a joint pairing, and we're trying to make Indo Caramel Anthrax Ocelot. Wow. So triple recessives, which are going to be... I can't imagine I that. think an anthrax ocelot. That's never been produced. No, we just made the first hat. So That's okay. the, the, These are going to be... Anthrax Ocelot's going to be... Oh, man. I think... Uh, That's going to be a game changer. It's going to be a special snake, for yeah. sure. So, yeah. All right, so where can we find you? Um, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, at JK Reptiles. More markets, JK Reptiles. Um, um, Retic Nation, I'm an I'm a admin on there, so I'm all over. You can find me. Not right. hard to miss. I appreciate you, man. Thanks, so much, buddy. Man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, what? we're here with Vanessa Conquest. Oh no! <laughs> Want to do an interview? Oh no! <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, about the NRBC show. One, go! Hey, don't run for me. Come back here. Hey, come back here. I'm gonna crash into somebody. I'm gonna crash into somebody. Where are you going? We gotta get an interview. So, what do you think about the? <laughs> what do you think about the March Tinley? Who? March. Who? <laughs> It's going great. It's going great? Awesome. It's so much fun. All right. That was a message from Vanessa. <laughs> We're going to hopefully get a new one this whole coming year. Yeah. That's a nice one, though. new ones just to like keep it like interesting. Yeah. That's a nice banner, though. What's up, dude? Nothing. How you doing? Just came to say good morning. I'm doing good. Good morning, man. Yeah. You enjoying the show? Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. What's your favorite part of the show so far? I don't really know. I, I like it all. Yeah? Yeah. Did you enjoy it last night? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, I, I liked your speech yesterday. Thanks. All right. Yeah. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Uh-huh.
right, guys. Sure. I'm here with Gary Demeyer. I uh, just want to uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, and uh, can you tell me a little bit about these green tree pythons you work with? Yeah, well, most people know that I breed ball pythons, and I've also bred a lot of crested geckos, leopard geckos, breeder dragons, and things like that in the past. Right now, my business is mostly focused on ball pythons, but I do produce some green tree pythons as well. Uh, I've actually been breeding green tree pythons for as long as I've been breeding ball pythons, which this is my 24th year. Um, I started off with a single green tree python that I bought for a pet uh, back in 1997. And in 2000, I bred her, had some babies out. I had acquired some additional ones since then. And uh, so I've got a collection. Right now, my breeders are, I think I've got six pairs. And they're all snakes that I actually hatched out myself over the last 10 years. I raised them up. I put a lot of time and effort into raising them up over the years and started breeding them. And I've been producing babies from them over the past uh, probably three years now. Gotcha. So um, yeah, these are just some that I have uh, available here right now. Um, I, I really like green tree pythons. They're a challenge to breed. They're, they're actually easy to keep if you have them set up properly. They're, uh, they are easy to breed too, but they're, the hard part about breeding them is hatching the eggs out and getting the babies to eat. Uh, typically about a third of the babies start eating really well right away. A third of them take a few weeks to get feeding and a third of them like will not eat anything at all and those are those are the difficult ones. So all the ones that I brought with at the show here were hatched last summer. They've all eaten probably 25 times already, really well established um, and they're, yeah, they're doing great. All right, so where can we find you? Uh, RoyalConstrictorDesigns.com is my website. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. YouTube channel is called The Royal Constrictor, and of course, I'm on Morph Market as well. All right, appreciate it so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yep. It's so chill, dude. I know that it's straight from the egg. They're like puppies. Dang. You can hold them. You All right, guys, we're down here at the NARBC show in Tinley Park. We're at the Epic Style. Wait, what's the rest of your name? Oh, why oh, not reptile? Yeah, our motto is why not reptiles. Okay, okay. Uh, why not have a reptile? That's our website, why not reptiles You want to uh, introduce yourself? And just tell. Them yeah, no. My name's Chris. Uh, like, like Benny already said, uh, it's uh, Epic Style LLC. Why not reptiles? Uh, our main focus is Lichianus geckos. Um, back, we're from the Kansas City area, so back home we do a lot of educational programs, just trying to bring new people into the hobby, uh, teaching about just something that they're aware of. Sometimes, some people don't even know this world, this weekend exists for us out here. Yeah. Um, so being able to grow this hobby and learn, teach people about it is like one of my favorite parts. And, uh, it's, it's, it's it yeah, absolutely. You, you do those educational programs pretty often, huh? Yeah, so we do, we have libraries, we do schools, uh, we do birthday parties and events. I try to set up at like farmer's markets or, a uh, little different vendor places where I can go set up, have a booth, and just like yeah. raise raise awareness. Like we don't have any cats or dogs at home. Yeah. Originally, when we wanted to pet, that's what we were going to get about eight years ago. Um, but we worked full time jobs, and we happened to land on getting getting a reptile. That yeah. reptile led us to another reptile. It led yeah. us to finding reptile shows. Yeah. And then now we have 165, 170 reptiles. Yeah. Um, at our house and stuff, and just enjoying this hobby and this life. This this community is just uh, a really it's family yeah. that's what it is right there and you meet so many different people whether i'm from kansas city you're from california yeah. i know people in florida i know people in Georgia. Yeah. like it's just refreshing getting out especially this bigger event yeah and connecting with connecting and seeing those people like i just met you in person uh, at the beginning of january back. yeah a yeah, couple yeah. months back and so like i'm so happy you're here because it's been too long that i haven't <laughs> I seen you so <laughs> Appreciate yeah that, man. yeah all right so where can we follow you uh so if you if you the easiest way is you hop over to Instagram. Yeah. It's Epic Style LLC. Yeah. Um, in the bio is our link tree. Okay. Our link tree will have our Facebook, our Instagram, our Snapchat, um, all of the places, our, our, our blog that we put out yeah. uh, to go find us at a show, see where we're going to be at. Yeah. Um, I try to update things and, and just do little silly things on there so people can kind of feel connected and be part of uh, be part, be part of our, our following and yeah, stuff like that definitely. as well. Um, 
no question, the silly question. If you ever have a question, feel free to reach out. Um, I'm I'm here for my animals, but I'm also here for other people. Like sometimes you, sometimes you may get something and you can't yeah. find the card, you can't find the person, whatever. Yeah. Um, and I, I like to share as much knowledge as I can so with other people. Direct them to the right person. Yeah. And, and find and if I don't know the answer, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll find some. I know yeah. a lot of people that I can. Hey, go go talk to this person. Go message this person. Or you're looking for a certain animal. Yep. Check this out. Check that out. Whatever on that part too. So I uh, appreciate you so yeah. much, brother. No, thanks, man. Thanks for coming by. Yep. Always good seeing you. So yep. you too, man. All right, so you ready for your interview now? <laughs> He's a good boy, huh? Look at him. Good boy. We're down here at NRBC show at Tinley Park. We're here with Brian. Uh, you just want to tell us a little about yourself and maybe talk about the show? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I, I thought that I was tall and then you stood up. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you all the time, right? Uh, yeah, no, the show was great. For myself, I'm just a dude. Here at the show, yeah. trying to have a good time. You're nothing big, right? No, no, no. Especially not, not anymore. <laughs> I thought I was at least some some sizable guy, and then like oh I said, wait, no, not that size. I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no. It's great. I I love rock talk show. Yeah. To, to be honest, I don't be able to but I because there's a silliness here that I always get to have. It's been a great show. I, I love these shows. Let me tell you something real quick, guys. So my first uh, time meeting him was actually right down here, and we did actually did our first interview like, right around the corner over here, and we did a little prayer for us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was a big moment for me. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, Brian. Uh, Thanks, appreciate that, man. Thank you for being you know, part of the meeting. Thanks for being taller than me. No, not really that much taller. <laughs> that seems like a lot right now. <laughs> appreciate it, man. Thank you.